Hi, I'm Miriam Sadiq and this is Trials and Errors. I don't know about all of you, but I have been glued to my television set and my Twitter account since about noon today, um, watching what has been unfolding, what was a series of seemingly ridiculous chants and people in bizarre get-ups. Um, Donald Trump showed up and said he was going to march to the US Capitol. He, of course, did not. Um, he got in his car and went back to the White House. Meanwhile, his supporters, thousands of them, not only went to the Capitol, um, but they stormed the Capitol, they got into the Senate chamber, I'm sorry, the House chamber, and um, broke windows of the Capitol and were met with almost no resistance from the Capitol Police. Um, and so a lot of talk is going on right now about what this is. Are these protesters? Is this a coup? Um, I have avoided using the word coup over the past several months, um, or the past several weeks rather, since the election, because it means something. It especially means something when you're from the third world, since we've seen it happen um, in many of our countries. We've seen what uh, these mobs of people can do and the harm they can actually bring to nations. So instead of using those words, um, you know, we sort of giggle about what's happening or shake our heads at it. But what's happening right now is, is dead serious. It is beyond uh, frightening. Um, and we should all be aware of what's happening and we should all be watching it because we need to know that this democracy that we take for granted, um, it's, it's perilous and it needs to be taken care of. And uh, a lot of us take it for granted. So I have, um, we did a little bit of research on sedition because that's a word that gets tossed around a lot, just like coup. And interestingly enough, on Find Law, it, um, it starts by saying, suppose that over the course of a few months, a small band of armed militia militants has coordinated strategies to distribute firearms and take over the nation's capital by force through a website on the clandestine deep web. All indications show that the group is dead serious in its intentions, but they're thwarted by an FBI investigation. And it talks a lot about free speech in this, but it does tell you what the actual law of sedition is, what the, what the offense is, um, seditious conspiracy in federal law, and that's 18 U.S.C. 2384. And it says it is a crime for two or more people within the jurisdiction of the United States to conspire to overthrow or destroy by force the government of the United States or to level war against them. Let's just say that that's not necessarily what they're doing. The second definition is to oppose by force the authority of the United States government, to prevent, hinder, or delay by force the execution of any law of the United States, or to take, seize, or possess by force any property of the United States contrary to the authority thereof. So I think it's pretty clear that what's happening right now is in fact sedition. They have stopped the counting of the electoral votes and the certification of the electoral votes, which is a lawful process. There were objections to the slate of electors. As absurd as that is, as distasteful as that is, as anti-democratic as that may seem, it was a thing they could actually do. Was it morally correct? No. Um, were they feeding people lies? Sure. But there's a process for that. And they were engaging in that process until it was stopped. And are they overtaking property of the federal government by force? Yeah, everything that that is in DC for the most part is a federal, it's federal property. And um, when you commit a crime in Washington DC, it's a federal crime. The US Attorney's Office prosecutes you in Washington DC. Um, so you've got trespass, you've got just destruction of property, you've got your ordinary everyday crimes, and then without a doubt you have sedition. So. Don't be fooled by any of this. This isn't harmless uh, people that are just angry, economic anxiety, it never was. This is a group of people that were emboldened for years by a racist, misogynist bigot who they're all just looking for someone to blame, anyone. And it can't be their dear leader. It's gotta be people that look like me. It's gotta be black America. So I just wanted to, to give you the statute that people are talking about, which is sedition, to tell you that I do think it's a coup and to tell you all to really to be safe and to really protect our democracy because it can happen 
anywhere, as we can see.